Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Unturned Podcast. I'm your host, Kirby Charles. We're joined once again by the Knight Rider. Yo. It's Tass Wally. Everything hurts. I'm eating peanut butter. And we have a special guest today, DeLiona. Yo. Yeah. For like the third, fourth time. I don't even know how many times fourth you've been on the show. Third time, um, he's just probably. here because we just like, he just asked me and I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. Because Training Games um is not here. So, this on. this will be, I don't know. I'm not really too sure what's going to happen after this episode. There's a lot of things coming up. For for me in real life as a, as well as Stas, or and, the uh, podcast as a whole. Yeah, and Charles, and, and, Charles is dying. And, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm still sick. I'm not too sure. I might have lung cancer for all I know, mm. and I might just be like slowly dying. But anyway, back to the main point. Um, I'm not really too sure what's gonna happen after this episode. I mean, like there, I made the like kind of the not the oath, but what was it? I made the commitment to continuously post content on this day on this channel since the beginning of the year and i say true to that for the most part yeah and um you know i'm not think too sure missed a single the podcast has missed a single episode i don't think i think i think there's only missed one but it didn't matter it was like a day off i think it was, it was like probably hour, like a eunice episode so it was fine yeah no, nobody cares <laughs> but um but yeah we we have never i never really missed an episode intentionally i've always stayed on the time stay on the date I'm not too sure what's going to happen after this next week because I'm starting uni and um, I'm not really too sure. But I will still try to keep this uh, podcast the same as it was before. But then again, I'm, I'm, again, I don't know how much free time I will have on my hands. Um, but yeah, it is, it is a concern and it is something that we'll be seeing in the future. And um, I guess I can talk a little bit more about what some of the little bit of the ideas I had for this app. And I might have to do do it maybe even this year and not be able to continue with the with the whole plan. The main goal of uh, when I started this podcast as a whole was to be better than every other podcast that existed beforehand that was the, that was related to Unturned, which I've done. Check, check. Yeah. Um, get a bunch of community members on episodes to talk and have a, somewhat of a catalog of community members that existed during this time period, which is something that I did do. Um, be a consistent uploader for the most part, and I've um, achieved that as well. And, um, yeah, I mean, I achieved all the things I really wanted to do from the beginning. Um, I just need to finish off the year for the most part. And, um, again, I'm not too sure if that's even possible because of the, the changes that are happening in my real life. So keep that in mind if the, if episodes start to get more sus or if like something doesn't get posted on time, it's just because shit's changing and free time is probably not going to be a thing as much as it was before, but I'm not too sure. We'll see. It's still up in the air. It's still kind of, you know, whatever. So just keep that in mind for anyone listening. Um, Next thing I want to talk about is something that was... Uh, I keep bringing it up because it is something very weird that's happening within um, Unturned as a whole. But not really. It's not really of the main Unturned. Um, it's officially to do with Unturned console. I, I honestly am really, really weirded out by the way that 505 Games have conducted the way that they've tried to speak to me over the past months that I've tried to get in contact with them. They have thrown me three... I've raised this before. They've thrown me three emails that don't work, that have that lead to nowhere, and one email that didn't even exist. And um, I got in contact with, you know... They tried to get in contact with the developers of Unturned Console, Cradle Lambs, to no avail. And um, I recently got in contact with this 505 community manager that is trying to keep the peace of the unturned console players within the Discord server of 505 games, which they have a little, like, a uh, general chat for unturned console. And many of the people, when I was reading through this general chat, it is very depressing to see how sad it is to for a player base to just beg for an update. It doesn't even matter if it was, like, fixed or anything was wrong with it. They just wanted something. Uh, these guys have not gotten an update since, I think, like, since April. And these guys haven't gotten no fixes since that day. And what really boggles my mind when it comes to the Final 5 Games' decision to drop Fun Labs as the developers of the game is that Cradle Games has had a hold on Unturned Console since April of this year and have made less updates and less patches to the game than Fun Labs has done the same amount of time. And I I did the math, and it was three times less than what Fun Labs was doing. So, I don't know why 
of Final Five games is still allowing these guys to have a hold over the game when literally Fun Lab was doing a better job, and they believed that Fun Lab was not capable of working on Unturned Console, and would get a less capable company to work on Unturned Console, which is Cradle Games. I am starting to believe, personally, after talking to this community manager named Dave, I think Dan, Dave, I don't, I don't even remember his name, that's how like inconsequential our conversation was, that... Nobody is really working on this game. I questioned this community manager that was the guy that was keeping these people. And we have to say and... allegedly so that way we uh, don't I, get well, sued. We don't get sued. I, I said, yeah. I said, I believe, I believe mm -hmm. that this game is not being worked on. I discussed with this guy and asked him a simple question of whether or not Unturned Console was being developed. He gave me this broad saying, saying that basically, yeah. And I asked him, how are you getting this information when I asked him previously did he have any contact to the developers of Cradle Games or anybody that was connected to it? And he said no. And I asked him directly after, if you have no connections to Unturned Console and anybody working on Unturned Console, how can you say with 100% certainty that there's any work being done on the game? After that message was sent, I got completely iced out. He did not message me ever since then. We were having a back and forth beforehand, and he completely stopped messaging me after that conversation. And... This is kind of like one of the, like, I guess the last people I can really get to before anyone else, because there's nobody else that are telling anybody anything. There's nobody else publicly saying what they're doing on the intern console. There's nothing. It's, it's complete silence. It's complete utter, like, it's just weird. It's just super weird when I'm having to deal with to even talk to these, to try to talk to someone that's at all somewhat connected to this entire project. And it's starting to make me believe that actually nobody is working on this game. Due to the amount of updates that have been released by Cradle Games being three times less than Fun Labs, Cradle Games completely not at all referring to Unturned as one of the properties that they're working on on their website and having only this one like RPG game that they made, which is Hellpoint. That's all they care about is this game called Hellpoint. They don't have Unturned listed or any of the other projects that they have listed on their company. And it's only this one company. Uh, it's only this one game, I mean. And the community managers seem to have no connection at all to the development team of Unter Console or can give me 100% certainty that the actual game is being worked on. Which has made me believe, to this point right now, that nobody is working on Unter Console and either it's been secretly cancelled and nobody knows about it yet, or there's something else going on and it's just, you know, bad management by File 5 Games and bad management by Cradle Games of giving me an answer of whether or not there's anything even being done in this game. And this all originated by just me wanting to talk to a development developer of Unturned Console. It wasn't even like I, I wanted a simple I just wanted a simple question of whether or not I can talk to a developer and I kept getting referred to different people. So the point where I'm hitting ends that don't even exist. And it's it's really weird. It's really odd that this company is has this many titles under it that are well known, like Terraria and operate like this because i don't think that any company should operate like this this is this is one of the worst like worst experiences i've had with a actual triple a company publisher and um it's just it's just horrible it's just really bad and that's something that is really weird and if i don't get a response from this next person which i'm not getting anymore then i think um i have to go through a different means again to try to figure out anything about this topic because nobody nobody's telling me anything and it's getting really really weird like i said beforehand multiple times it it's it's really strange it's really messy and yeah that's that's really what it comes to under console um i don't know if you guys you guys haven't really seen any of that but it is it is something that was annoying you know i think they should just give me the source code for untimed console i'll do it all myself I think you would do a better job than whatever the hell Cradle Games is doing. I, I, you know, I, I'm not trying to shit on Cradle Games, but at the same time, I don't, I don't understand their way that their method proceeds to shit on Cradle uh, Games. I, I, well, again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have if they weren't, weren't so, I don't know, weird about this whole scenario, which is like just like cryptic almost. Cryptic, cryptic to the point where they could have. It's, it's funny because they, I, I had a conversation with a, a moderator of the Cradle Games Discord server, right? And basically, it ended to the point where all my messages were deleted now. You can't even go back to go look at what I said along with what they said. And Stas had to jump into the conversation because I was talking to him at the, at the moment. 
and had to explain a little bit more of what I was trying to say, in which he privately messaged the moderator of this Discord server, this Discord server, messaged Staswally privately about the whole conversation, and didn't even mention to me, by the way, the person that originally had this question, um, that potentially there could be something to do with NDAs, which doesn't even make sense either, because Fun Lab was releasing update notes on its Twitter account. So it's even more confusing as we go into this rabbit hole of what's even going on, because I think even the people that are have some semblance of power don't even, again, like before Anna said, I don't even know what's going on. Maybe they it's just really don't messy. like you. It's no, I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. If they don't like me, then they then I guess they won't like me in the future. Probably if it is true that secretly this entire project was just deleted. I mean, if they don't like me, they don't like me. But what what they're basically doing is they're just basically blowing me off to the point where I'm just believing that nothing's happening on this game, and I'm a person that's literally telling everybody that I don't think anyone's ha- anything's happening on this game, and eventually somebody's going to figure out something. And it's going to be blown out of the water and someone's going to figure out that no one's actually working on this game. Because I believe that the things that I've been told make me believe that. The people that are trying to tell me things make me believe that. It's just horrible. It's it's really bad. If, the, if this is another way of like just trying to ignore me, it's a really bad way because you're giving me the bad impression that nobody's working on this game. And I don't think anyone wants the impression that the people that they're paying are not even doing their job. That's how incompetent this company is if they're trying to do that to me. Like, it's ridiculous. I, I don't know. I don't know the extent of everything. I don't know the inner workings of everything. I can't say I do. But the way that I see it is just really ridiculous. It's really so stupid. Anyways, it's really ridiculous. The console, the console episode ain't happening in short, basically. Well, the console episode probably won't happen, yeah. Un- unless something else will happen. Because, again, yeah. I, everyone is just fucking, like, deadlocked with each other apparently and nobody knows what the hell's going on we'll see again i don't know 505 games dropped the ball on this game since day one and they keep continuously dropping the ball on this game since to this day and my experience with 505 games cradle games uh have it basically shown that nothing has really changed since day one and i'm gonna keep uh, bad math mouthing these people until i get a definitive answer of what the hell is actually going on with this game. Because at the end of the day, this is unturned IP. I grew up on this game. And basically seeing the disrespect and the amount of level of... Like, I, I don't know what the hell... Like, incompetence that 505 Games has shown to me is really disgusting. And, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. It's, it's just bad. It's all around just bad. And I'm really, I'm really, I'm really, um... Saddened for, I guess, what Nelson gave to this company the the incompetence of this company and what they've done with with my beloved game that that, that concludes <laughs> this sentence <laughs> unturn my beloved well i guess so i guess we can move on to the next topic when it comes to among us hmm? it now, comes you, you, we did not discuss wh- whether or not you were doing something well i had the idea uh in this on this podcast even to make a unturned handbook um when we were uh, when we were saying talking about Minecraft, I think we were talking about. Yeah, okay, I guess we're talking about this now. I get. I guess I didn't. Really yeah, want because to, it's a good topic. I mean... It's a good topic. What you you don't want to talk about this topic? No. Well, okay. No. I had a discussion of whether or not to do an unturned handbook, similar to the Minecraft handbooks that exist. I don't know if anybody mm-hmm. in this in this like um, anyone here knows about them. I'm pretty sure you own them. I I own like all of them. I think I think except for the fighting one. And they're all pretty interesting. They're all pretty funny, mm-hmm. and they have like some um, old unturned, un- not unturned Minecraft YouTubers within the actual book. They have the quotes and stuff. I think it's a very fun concept. It's very cool, and uh, I don't think a lot of games have done that. So uh, I came up with the, I said the concept out out loud to uh, in this podcast. I don't I don't remember what episode, but then I had to come up with the idea of doing something completely else that was similar to that. Do you even want to talk about it, Knight? Do you even want to talk about it? I don't know, because it's not happening anymore. Well, I mean, I think it's still still interesting, though, right? I guess. I mean, yeah, I was in talks with Nelson for a while to write an official unturned tie-in novel. It wasn't a guidebook. It would be a story thing. 
So and and no, I've had this idea for a while, Charles. It wasn't because you mentioned that. Well, you brought it up directly gonna, to me right. after after I discussed that. I'm not saying it was because of me. All right. Well, yeah. No, anyway, he, yeah. He I was in I was in it. talks with him to do that. It didn't it didn't work out because our styles didn't mesh. I really wonder what what Nelson would do with a book like that because it'd be a whole different ball game when it comes to unturned media because for the most part. Mm-hmm. Unturned somewhat has a story for the most part, but it's not the main focus, right? But when it comes to mm-hmm. books, you have to focus on the story. It can't be just all over the place, really. For the most part, when it comes to reading, I think you can attest to this, right? Yeah, and uh, I yeah the this the idea was it was you know how after the Russia quest line it said you uncover the traitor and then it's like the bandit group is in the wind. This this book was going to be about the hunt for that bandit group, basically. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was it was basically it was basically going to be a sequel to the Russia quest line, but it did it didn't work out because uh, he's the style was too light, and this kind of says something about my style because I actively tried to tone it down. Uh, he said it was too gritty and realistic. Basically, he he wanted gritty. to be a bit more a bit more a little bit more lighthearted. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> he did not just say that. He's laughing, bro. I oh, mean, why is he laughing? Why is he laughing, bro? Because slash gritty, bro. Slash gritty. How do you not know the meaning? Rash bro, gritty, 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 gritty. G r i t t y, not g r i d d y. Diddly, I ought to hit you. I ought to hit you, Diddly. Oh no. <laughs> okay, finally, finally had a chance to derail the episode. <laughs> no. You guys were talking so consistently about one thing. But yeah, it definitely it ended on it, the deal. It ended on good terms, though. So like, it was it just it just didn't work out. The styles didn't mesh. I think I, I kind of find that interesting because I think when you told me that, I immediately thought about the mob bestiary for um, Minecraft and how basically that's just more depictive of like Minecraft's mobs and how mm-hmm. they work, like the notes of a survivor in that world, and it's all pretty gritty as opposed to the game. Mm-hmm. And I think. That would be interesting to see when it comes to Unturned because, I mean, Minecraft was able to do it and pull it off and people love, love that thing. And I think it could be a thing in Unturned too. And I think that's something as a parallel um, to something that Minecraft has done. I'm just parallel. Wait, I have the, I have the Moby Steary. Yeah, like you've seen that and you can see like, it's mm-hmm. more gritty than the game, obviously. The way that it's like skeleton structures of like mobs, the, the, t- the messages that the survivor that wrote in the book originally was saying and things that he was talking about like it's it's more depictive than minecraft probably will ever do in its actual game so i mean i find that interesting and also the parallel between them you never know something like that may be in the future but we'll, we'll, we'll never know we'll never know right now because we always live as, we always live in the present and this is the present yeah As it's oh Plus, i may still i may still release it as like a fan fiction or something a fan fiction <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yo, <laughs> unturned fanfic. That's gonna be a thing. You think? Of course, yeah. not, not actually, would be a thing. Make actually, we, would be the guy to do that. We yeah. uh, didn't we find unturned fanfic one time night? I, th- I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. There's, we, there are, there is some. There, yeah, there it's is not some. That, it's not that good. <laughs> it's yeah, not, that's uh, pretty bad. <laughs> there's one that started on my server too, and it was. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> okay, if you have not heard of that, then I will, I will not be telling you about it. So anything, anything in SFW doesn't count, bro. Wait, no, 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 no. In the in the book was there was there at least a chapter worth of Captain Sydney making out being described? No, it was just me and Silver. So no, but Captain oh. Sydney was in it. <laughs> oh, so you're saying that you didn't write Captain Sydney making out anywhere in the book? I no, because I'm a normal human being. Oh, wait. I actually can't believe you. Get out. <laughs> Charles, can we ban this guy? Can we can ban, ban this, guy? this guy. Um, what was I going to say? I think, yeah, books would be interesting for Unturned to see as, like, a whole medium to step into. Um, we just need to, you know, make some actual good content. And Dude, Snap has it. books, like. Huh? Snap has books, so why un- why can't Unturned? Map has books? What did you just Snap. say? Nah, five nights at Freddy's. Yeah, but like, well, like Scott is on the point where he's getting to Arl Stein levels of like writing, basically. I don't, really? I don't think Nelson 
wants to oh, get so to I don't point. think I don't think those books are canon. They're in a no, different they universe. Yeah. They are, I think. Mm-hmm. But I mean, still, he he writes them himself. Oh. Let's talk about, about Five Nights at Freddy's lore no. real quick. No, <laughs> real no. quick. I don't really care. Something funny that's happening um, in the Unturned Official Discord server that I find really, really disheartening and really mm. sad um, for the people that are involved. Someone Unturned Dis- Official of Discord BCs. server has now merged with the Unturned forums. What I mean by that is because Discord added this new, like, kind of channel thing where you can make a there are forum. forums in the Discord server. Yeah. So now there's a Unturned they forums within the Unturned Discord server. So it's a cesspit within a cesspit. Oh and boy. Um, there's this one channel that, that exists right now. It's called Discord uh, Reports. And people are basically snitching on each other and reporting, like, the most, like, smallest details of someone's profile. Like, they'll literally go to a profile description, like, where they go to the profile, like, it was, like, about me, and they wrote something. And literally say, oh, this person has, like, a bad profile description. And I'm like, this a is the most... This is the most... Like, they did that pathetic. anyway. The most they did that strange. anyway. I know, yeah. but what you're basically doing is you're... you're, you're what? <laughs> you saw, we all saw that. Right, we all yeah, saw right, that I bastard. Heard it, I heard he joined it, and left. You saw that? Everyone that's listening right now, you just saw Trident Games do that. In the flesh. But anyway, Trident that's games, what I'm saying. Trident Games jump scare, bro. Basically, people are like reporting each other and basically saying so-and-so is doing this, so-and-so is doing that. And this is the most cringiest thing I've ever seen. They were it's doing so, that in the... I mean, they were I doing mean, that yeah. in the regular they were channel doing that anyway. Before, but now it's just Leona, when is now? your next VR video? <laughs> but now they're doing it in forums. That's what I'm saying. They're doing it in forums in like form ways. I'm like, this is the saddest thing ever. And I'm glad that people are like showing like the nerd emoji on these guises because it's so pathetic in my the opinion. Guises. It's so it's so sad that it should be made fun of. And thank God there is there is some hope within that server. I guess to a certain degree. So, that's something, like, um, pathetic that exists. Um, another thing that happened this week is that we were called, was it me, Knight? Uh, yeah, the, the two people that were in this call, me and Knight, were called out I'm to so be a mad. part of the, the Unturned Elite. Um, okay, so that is why Dilly and me are here right now, because as representatives of the actual Unturned Elite... <laughs> uh, we were also name dropped with Joe Biden, Mike Pence, Mitch McConnell. Um, who we also named up? I don't know who else. I forgot. But it, Joe Biden. Yeah, but me and Joe Biden, we always talk about the unturned like community and how we can you know yeah. form it to our will. Like we always talk about it all the time. Like <laughs> me and me and Mike Pence, we go way back. <laughs> we go way back. Mike Pence was one of. Does Mike <laughs> Pence have a purple beret? <laughs> Mike Pence is secretly a beret. Mike, dude, Mike Pence was a was an Elva playtester. Mm-hmm. Real ones, no. <laughs> you had to be there to see it. Yeah. <laughs> I like how I like how it was. I was the first at of the entire thing. It was me, Eunice, were first two added, and then Joe it was like Biden. Joe Biden next. It was Joe Biden after Eunice. <laughs> I think me. that's really funny. So, um, speaking of Eunice, I, I really wanted to do this meme um, because I really think it's really funny. We, I've, I've said this before on the podcast, but if anyone doesn't know, um, Eunice declared himself king of the SDG forums, and I agree that he should be the king of the SDG forums. A while um, back. No, that's not a new thing. This is not a new thing. He's, he's done that a long time ago. So basically, um, Eunice recently got the leading poster on the SDG forums. He is now officially the leading poster on the SCG forums, which is really sad to say. Officially the king. Yeah, officially now ha- has a actual hold on the SCG forums. And I, I really wanted to say that I really want, um, as a meme, for the community to get together and to actually um, protest the forums to get units to get this, like, you know, when it comes to, like, uh, on the forums, there is a tag next to certain people that do certain things. So, like, if you're a map maker... Uh, you will have a tag next to your name that says map maker or like something like that. wanted to get a king tag. Yeah, so what, what I'm basically saying <laughs> is that we have to all protest in unison to get Eunice, uh, king of the SCG forums, as a tag next to his name. Um, we all need to like work together to get this a thing. Like, he, he just needs to have it. At this point, I think it's really, it would be really hilarious. And like, I don't think anybody will care. 
Like it's it's like a very small thing, and it's really funny. No one even uses the form anymore. It's still it's still like the cesspit as it was before. So it won't even, it won't even hurt anybody. Trust me. So I, I think that's a funny idea, and I think we should uh we should all get together and like just do it one time. Oh, another thing that I, I should also mention, um, under that original tweet that this person called us, like, the Unturned Elite, this guy named, uh, Vexum, or, like, Virtium, or what, I don't even know how to say his name, like, commented under Eunice, uh, making fun of this guy because he wasn't even added but still found this tweet and, like, still made it about himself to a certain degree, I think he was, and he immediately, like, Eunice made fun of him, and then this guy messaged, oh, this is the guy that got, uh, still mad about getting unbanned. Which I think this is the this is something I didn't talk about on the intern podcast beforehand, but I think this is the most. It's like this is like I think this was like April. This happened in. This is the most like pathetic thing I've ever seen the forms ever do. Um, a guy in the like unturned not the forms in the unturned Discord server I meant in the unturned Discord server a guy said hi, and a bunch of community member, community members were in a voice call, and we were like we should all say hi to this guy, and everybody said hello to this one guy, right? And everybody that was involved with saying hello to this one guy was banned for spam. Because they all said hello to this one guy. And these weren't like, these weren't like nobodies. These, these people were like Will Lemons that got banned. Like, I think, <laughs> I forgot who else, but like one of the people that I was like, kind of like astonished, like, like was Will, which is a fucking, <laughs> a server hoster with an unturn. It's pretty, ma- pretty major. Like, and they, and they, they like made the claim that they were like spam bots. That these people were spam bots, and they still haven't unbanned them because of it. And it, it shows to the ridiculousness of how stupid bans are within a dis- this Discord server. Like, a bunch of people can say hello to one guy, and all of them will get banned because they said hello for spam. Like, I mean, it's unturned official. I I think like the again, bar yeah. is very very low when it comes to that. Server. Again, yeah, like, and it, it just it adds to the point that unturned official is one of the worst places to be when it comes to the unturned community. It's not a good place. The unturned community, just as a whole. Yeah, if you're being a part of the unturned community, you don't go to the Discord server. You don't go to the forums. You go play either servers and go into community servers. That's really it. You don't go but, into the official places. Um, because people have tried making like a better unturned official, I guess, but it never worked out. And I'm thinking, is this a problem of just the just the the community of this game? No, it's just the way that when you format these types of groups, you just keep. You kind of keep everybody. The problem is unturned official just keeps everybody to a certain degree. And when you no, I have, yeah, I agree with that. Shit, I, agree. I agree with that. Then you get a suspect because most of the people in there are not good people. Like some of them say some pretty heinous shit that go unnoticed and nobody cares you know, about. Amongst the moder the moderation team, even. Yeah, the, even the moderation team is like pretty disgusting when it comes to their claims about um, about people. Um, Idiot box groups. incident. Um, people that are community members within the game that do more work than these guys will ever do in their entire life. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's really it's really disgusting. And the unturned the unturned Discord server, in my opinion, is the anti unturned. Is really anti unturned. Yeah, I think that's a good good way to say it. They're anti unturned while trying to be as unturned, and uh, it's really pathetic. It's really sad. And it's not a good place to be at unless you're trying to, like, make money, which is fair. I think only only good thing is to try to extort that entire server for money or fame to a certain degree. That's the only good reason you should be in that Discord server. So, yeah, that, that's just uh, something ridiculous that happened. These guys yeah. are still banned. And they still haven't been. And this guy and this guy under this tweet just, like, pointed out. that's a, He's a Discord moderator, and he pointed out that he was still banned because of the r- ridiculous thing I've ever seen. And, Discord um, moderator spotted, opinion discarded. Yeah, exactly. And, right. and I, um, it's really stupid. I hope these guys are listening to the point. I, I hope these guys were listening, been listening for the the entire existence of this entire show. Because you are, you are some of the worst community members in this entire scene. And just you are not respected. Discord you are not respected points. whatsoever by any of us. You are a joke. And you will always be seen as a joke because you were made by people that were disgusting and had nothing with bad intentions within this game. So, yeah. I can't wait to make a video on that entire topic. That will be such a fun, such a fun video. I can't wait to make so many pissed off, so many people pissed off about that video when it comes out. Mm-hmm. Speaking of videos that I'm working on, I'm currently working on this video. 
that probably will be released, uh, I don't know, later in the week. And uh, it will be discussing um, a very specific person. It's kind of funny because I, I said to this person, um, I was going to make a video on them. And I think they're kind of concerned and kind of worried about what I'm actually doing because they they asked me what, what I'm actually working on. And I told them, you're going to have to see it when it comes out. And to be fair, I am point, I'm kind of putting them in a really bad light. But I don't think it's going to hurt them at all because it was all like years ago. And I think it's a very interesting topic. So, yeah. I mean, I think I've shown, uh, so far, I've shown Dilly and Stas the whole, the whole work I've done yeah. so far. I it is a great cool like video. I think, yeah, we haven't really had that many, uh, this, this format of videos in the Unturned community, really, so. Yeah. I wanted to, I wanted to say this a minute ago, but God, we just need, like, new Discord moderators for Unturned Official. The problem Because you that... can have... You can absolutely no no no. You can absolutely clean up official if you just have moderators who you know you have believe actually... in human decency. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> agree with that. The thing is with this is that we've all I think we've all said this beforehand. The problem is Malt. Um, as I think when we have Malt on the show, I'm gonna I haven't, question him about I haven't this. I have said because... anything about him. Okay. <laughs> well, I, you guys can't don't need, you guys don't need to say anything. But I will say what I've seen and what has happened within mm-hmm. this game because it's. Something that I will probably will ask Malt when he does show up on the show because it is the most concerning part of Malt. So, Malt, the problem with the entire Unturned Official Discord server and the way that it, why it is the way it is now, it is slowly getting flushed out because people are, the moderation team are leaving. So it is slowly, you know, moving on past this era, but it still has deep roots with the people beforehand and the people that ran this Discord server beforehand. So, the problem with everything is that Molt likes to be, I guess, consistently the same. And he likes for- formality and nothing really to be shaken up because it still works. At the end of the day, the Discord server is still being moderated by a staff team. And that's all that Molt really cares about for the most part. And he wants it to stay that the same through the entirety of the Unturned Official. does not care about the morality of some of these these like staff members. They just He just cares about a staff team existing on Unturned Official. And they are staffing, which they are doing, to be fair. So, and it's never going to be changed. Unturned Official is never going to be changed until Molt can, you know, realize that these people are not fit to be moderators of the Discord server due to the, their actions, the way that they treat other people, the way that they treat the community. They're really anti-Unturned. And it, it's going to start with him. And if Molt doesn't allow it, then, you know, it's going to be the same way, which Molt has not allowed much change. Molt has stand by some of the decisions that the moderation team has has made and completely made statements that he was deleted now that were completely false. One of these statements I discussed a long time ago was Sherlock was Sherlock Golds. He was banned during a a unturned uh what was it? It was a voting period to vote in community members within the community to become staff members into the Discord server and the Discord moderation team that were also being put up to the chopping block on to be voted on, all agreed to ban this guy during the polling and was winning the polls. He was winning a position to be a staff member on this Discord server and was banned midway through the entire election and was removed completely. What did Molt do? Molt went, after questioning from members that were cool with Sherlock and that liked Sherlock, were questioning Molt of why he was even defending the staff team because he was saying to them, Oh, you know, he should have known better. I messaged him privately about this entire ordeal. He should have known not to do these things and not necessarily giving away what he actually did. I messaged Sherlock and asked him questions about what the hell that was Molt even talking about and what was he even saying. Sherlock got basically showed me all of his DMs with ma- the majority of the staff team and had nothing. He showed me the message of why he was banned. Nothing. He showed me the emails which he sent to Bolt to even apply to be a moderation, part of the moderation team, and was accepted to, by Molt, and Molt never messaged him about the ban whatsoever. Even though Molt said, yes, he did ban him. And for reasons that he can't even say. He didn't even say. And um, I think a day later, Molt deleted all those messages, and they were completely gone from the Discord server. So he can't even look, that, look for them back. But I remember... And I asked Molt, I asked um, Sherlock about it. I directly told him what, what he said, and I got answers about my, all my questions. And Molt was completely in the wrong. Nothing happened to Sherlock. There was no DMs ever shared to him. There was nothing that I I saw from what I saw and what was being shown 
through private DMs that he ever messaged him, that any of the moderation mes- messaged him. All that happened was he was removed from the in- the entire election for because they didn't like him. That was the only reason that I could find. And Molt has still, to this day, not disputed this Sherlock ban, even after um, questions about it when it came to the entire running of the Discord server. So... That is someone that, um, that's something that will question Molton in the future, I think, when he comes on, was the entire ordeal and why he would, you know, kind of sweep this person under the rug and just make it seem like, oh, they didn't even exist, uh, and the things that he said didn't even exist, when I remember for a fact, and the messages I shared with Sherlock show that as proof, the emails show me, show that as proof, so I can't wait, um, for, for that conversation to happen on this show. But that is something that has happened, and I think the problem is is that Molt stands too heavily with within the staff team because he likes consistency. Consistency. So the staff team from the top down will probably never be fully flushed out because Molt himself uh, wants it to stay the same because of the previous things I just talked about. Why are you guys just drinking? <laughs> <laughs> Guys are si- sipping tea, awful, bro. Awful, sipping awful, dude, sipping like, tea. Nah, this is not tea. This is fucking champagne, my dude. Because it's my sister's I'm birthday. I'm sipping coffee. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> dude, coffee, coffee <laughs> doesn't <laughs> taste good. Am I gonna be the you don't one? taste good. That's why I broke up with you. I probably what? don't taste good. Whoa. You're <laughs> lying. Hell? You don't know. <laughs> What is this? It's always it's always fucking night, bro. It's there's no one else. There's no one else about? that acts this sus on the Unturned podcast besides the Night Rider. And this is not true. Quit spamming the guest chat, guys. You just Come went on. You, let's keep you this just went Let's keep this simple, guys. Let's keep this simple. <laughs> <laughs> he just went on a tangent about a guy I've never heard of, so I don't really know what to add. Molt? Molt? No. You don't no, know Molt? No. no, the other guy. Oh. <laughs> Uh, anyways. People are asking me to get in the VC <coughs> for Lap Lap's Unturned Rumble. Bro, I'm recording a podcast, Oh, uh, yeah, I was gonna... Uh, from what yeah, I was gonna uh, I, I, we, dude, start. the teams are random. Like, why do I even need to show up? I asked Lap about that. Um, and he's like, the teams are random. I'm like, why do I need to show up then? And he's like, I don't know. So I'm like, I'm not he even... Gave, he gave point? me the option to choose I am teams. on a team, but I told him that I'm opting out because I won't be able to play. Whose team is who? I will not know. I'm in, I'm with Will Lemons. Is there actually? Let me see teams? who. Let me see who I'm with. It's just ran, if it's random. All right, I'm leaving my team. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving, bro. There's no way. I can, I can't yeah. shape this team. No, man, I can't shape these. Bro, people. I'm with Liam does game, and you're not, Charles. That's fair. I, I mean, I'm looking at the teams right now. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Wait, wait, wait. I'm looking at the teams. Dude, Lap Lap and is... Salty Waffles in one. Dude, I'm a train, dude. I don't know who the Wait, hell that is. Wait, what the fuck? Lap is with Salty? No, this that is not. Is this is unbalanced as fuck. No, no, no. They're calling bullshit on that. Diddly's with Unturned Antics and who else? Who, who's with you, Diddly? Do you even Did know? The uh, train dude. Train dude? Yeah, you're too oh, no. failed. <laughs> I don't know who that is, if I'm honest. You, you failed, bro. You have. You, well, Antics is good, but, like, that's not the point. Like, this, we're going on a Yukon. Beside the point. I think I Ant- think Duck has a very Antics will Antics will be homophobic towards someone and I can probably speak myself out of any confrontation I'll have to be in. It'll be fine. Stas is with Will and who else Stas? Who are you with as well? Are you with Cheese Tuna too? Okay. I don't know che- who the who the hell is Cheese Tuna, I'm sorry. Spire and Dine and Nat and Jakey on a team. Listen, if you're not active on my Discord <laughs> server, I don't know who you are. Even if you have joined it. Okay, this is fucked. Okay, guys, this is the actual worst. Um, okay, Cheese Tuna is on my Discord server. I, I realized I realize something. Yeah. Lap Lap, Z-Man, and Salty Waffles are on the same team. This is the most rigged shit I've ever seen. Dude, <laughs> I don't know why uh, Lap Lap allowed Z-Man to be fucking a bad player. Literally, Z-Man's not a bad player. He's on. He's better than fucking Knight Rider, and Knight Rider considered himself mid. I'm like, I'd say I'm pretty mid, yeah. Yeah, but Z-Man's better than you. That's what I'm saying. And he considered himself How? a bad player. I've played with Dude. Z-Man. I know Z-Man's wait, wait. strength. Night, you're night, night, you're night, better, wait, wait. Night, I don't know night. about Z-Man. You, you chose mid, Knight. Yes. I will yes. leave that with no comment. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Night Rider chose mid, and Z-Man chose being a bad player 
and was teamed up. This is this is actually like no. I consider myself to be a bad player, and I have owned Knight every single time we met. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. That the, the teams are really stupid because it's like you're basically basing it off of how the player feels. It's really dumb. Like I don't last know. team, la team two. Listen. This is the most unbalanced. This is gonna. This team's gonna win. I can tell you this right now. Listen. Lab is gonna win his own event because he has not only salty waffles. Which I thought salty was gonna be put with fucking. Pretty like the. I thought he would have my position right now. With, I thought Salty would be me. put in my position right now, but he's not. He's with fucking Z Man and Lap Lap. That that team is gonna win. Salty is like probably the best player in this entire event, and he was just put with two pretty decent players too. That this is this is, and I'm I'm looking at everyone else. I think Doug's team is okay, but Jerry's kind of holds it down a little bit because Jerry's not that not that good. Like even the other teams I'm looking at right now, I don't think that's like possible to step up to this team. Like I, I don't, I don't, I have little faith within the the groups that they, this would even be able to step up to that team. Yeah, this is this is ridiculous. Anyway, that's just a little this bit is, of unturned rubble funny. drama. I don't even think I'll be playing. Still. I don't even think I'll be playing that much because here's the problem. I want, I also want to talk about this on the the show, but now that we're talking about it, um, yeah, 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 this is important. Yeah. A problem with with most of these events, and that's, this is the reason why I only made one. Uh, I only made one unturned event that existed and that was and it was only good the the other event that i made was good and and every other event was bad almost every other event um has been really bad because of two reasons one there's no freedom to actually play this game you have to be immediately established within the group and like you have to be non-friendly to almost everybody else even though you're pretty much cool with the majority of the people that are in this entire game so it's kind of like this weird kind of like Oh, we have to be against each other when they really, you really don't want to. You're basically putting people in boxes that when it's not, it's not necessary. It's not necessary to be putting the community in boxes when, when you leave them out and just let them do what they want to do. They make pretty good shit. Like, that's what I did. And I made, some people made some, like, really good content on it. Like, Silver made an really entire good part of his content. video. And, like, yeah. It, it Charles, I'm going to be honest. I zoned out. When are we going to talk about lore? And basically what I'm saying is that I don't I don't have faith. I don't have faith in this event like I didn't have faith with Man of Man's event both times. Like I didn't have faith in within I guess that's really it actually. That's really only... hey, to be honest, one thing one thing I'm cu very curious about. Why why is this community trying to consistently trying to make this game less fun? Yeah, we're going on Yukon right now. <laughs> no, not even that is Yukon. You get banned when you get killed for 12 hours. I wait, just you don't get, get it. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a hardcore thing. This Lap is, this wanted is so to lame. just try it out. This is so Bro, lame. that's not Lebra Charles. Then, then leave, Charles. Then leave. I the funny thing is, the funny thing is about this whole entire ordeal. <laughs> I think I I have a plan to play this, and just to prove that this is a dumb idea. Like I okay. I think I have a plan to ruin everybody's day. And if it works, then it literally Charles be like it. dies. This idea is dumb, bro. No, I, I will. No, I will. I will no, see. I will see how you will... this will be. Look, bro, if you don't want to get banned for 12 hours, just don't die. That's all I'm saying. I know. Just don't die. No, no, I agree, but mm -hmm. the most fun experiences in this game, and like, actually, in, in video game history, actually, for me at least, where the game is where you just don't get punished for your mistakes that much, because you can just do stupid shit and get away with it. Yeah. That's why people love so, my events so much, because of that exact reason. Mm -hmm. And every other event... Then people didn't like it because of the people involved in the way that everything was set up. It's no, always... All I'm saying is that, for example, uh, mm, I think it was on Twitter. Someone made a post. No, Knight, you were actually asking about uh, how to, like, what should yeah, be how, done about... Yeah, like, what would you change about curated maps? I'm curious Ender, because when, Ender when I started brought up, maps... Ender brought up a very good point of just making the maps actually fun and less of a grindy experience. I, like... Mm. Where is the fun in just in just doing like fetch quests or something like that? Okay, and I'm not <clears> berating <throat> any <throat> any specific map here. Yes, you because... are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, okay. listen. Every single map that came out after after Elver came out was a banger because of it. Just showed how much more is possible in this game. It, it's it's like Danaby, Renax, on those people just went all the way to bring something new to this game, right? 
Uh, that's mm -hmm. the same reason Renaxon plays Tarkov, and I cannot understand that, bro. Like, literally. <laughs> <laughs> How are you having fun in this game? Yeah, you were, Anyways. you were talking about the people that play that game. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so I think that... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll the Arid was kind of grindy, and I found it fun. I the Arid's no, no, no. I map. found, I found. No, I also think that Arid is one yeah. of the best maps, but <laughs> is it is it really that grindy? It's not grindy. So. It's just it's I guess long not. It's to like... finish. You don't have to grind to do anything. It's I mean, in Elver, you kind of have to with the GPU spawns, but then they were increased, etc., mm -hmm. etc. So. It got it got better, right? It got better. Yeah, arid and is like the Elver was Elver was just complicated uh, and complex. No, but, like, but at the same complex. time, no, no, no. But at the same time, people may say that you know, Elver is a pretty grindy experience. But at the same time, getting a gun on Elver is like such an easy task. Like dying on Elver isn't really that big of a deal if you think about it. Unless you have stuff like the uh, scriptures on you. Which then it's kind yeah, of like, but other than do... that, it's just yeah. yeah I guess, I, think, I guess. I, I made this comparison. I said, um, I told Ren this when I was testing Arid, because I told him that there is a um, was it map pyramid in Unturn, and the pyramid goes well, it's not a pyramid, it's like a triangle. It's like a you know the Triforce from Zelda. That's what it is. Yeah. You have right. PI Washington Russia. That's the triangle. And what basically... DI Washington, Russia. And that was before 2017. Um, and still technically today is for the non-curated maps. That's what it is. I told I, I told Dan, uh, Animatic, and Ren this. That it, there is a now curated triangle. Elver, <laughs> Arid, and Kuwait. Exactly, it's yeah. The same, they're the same formats, but they're updated to be more better. PEI They're just, was, just better in every... That, that's what I think why... I like Arid so much because Russia is my favorite uh, official map, and Arid is just like Russia, but better in every aspect. No, Russia, that, it's, not, it's not Russia. I, I wa it's literally Washington. I mean, it's bro. not Russia. It's literally Washington. <laughs> no, it's it's a more updated Washington. I told I told Ren Washington. that your I mean, map is an updated Washington, and here's why: because first of all, it doesn't follow the same format of like layering when it comes to loot. Well, it kind of does, but it doesn't really need to because you can get weapons from a crate. From far away, similar to you how can Washington get, you has, you can get weapons in civilian locations. Exactly. basically. similar to how when you can go find a um, a convoy, a broken convoy, or like a little military checkpoint in Washington in the corners of the map, and places that don't necessarily need them to be there, then you can go get guns from them and be able to toe to toe with some of the players that were grinding in the middle areas where the more loot is concentrated. Same concept. You have guns being put in positions that are usable and actually good. In places that regular players and most players will need to go to at the beginning, that w that will not, you know, that will need it, so they can go fight in the mid like the bigger cities or the, like the more loot centric locations. So that's why I told Ren, your map is a better Washington because it literally has more complexity. Which is a problem with Washington is that once you get to that point, you really can't really go anywhere. You can't really go any higher, and you basically added more depth to Washington. You also made it to the point where anybody was able to get any weapon anywhere and be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with players that do had loot. Like, you saw how I was playing Air Raid Stas when I played with you. I literally was going yeah. to, like, I picked up a gun and went to places and killed, like, three mans, picked up all their shit and came back and gave it to you. I play because Washington that's, the same that, way. That's the, that's the, like, most, uh, most... Ah, most fun way to play this game is just a PvP, right? Like exactly, and that's, that's the same. What it's about. similar to like Washington and that fat, uh, and that fact as well. As well as this, I don't know if anyone realized it, but the main city is just basically Seattle, and the airport, not the airport, was it airbase? The airbase at the bottom left is basically the military base in Washington, Olympia. It's it's the exact same format, the exact same amount of player uh, footwork because of the way that the NPC teleports you. It acts like that way. It's it's so good for for that, and it's a really good point. And when I told Ren, I don't think he believed me when I said that. I told him, you're just a better updated Washington. I explained it to him, but I don't think he really fully got it. Because, I mean, you have to be a very high IQ to understand math. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But, um, but when, I think he didn't take it seriously when I said it, but playing it more and more, it literally is just an updated Washington. And I, I, I can make a whole video discussing how PEI is Elver, how Arid is Washington, how Russia is Kuwait, 
and how they expanded upon entries that were a part of these maps and made them a lot better within their maps. And I think uh, that, that could be a whole video I could work on, which I've thought about working on. I've just been lazy. Um, that's another video idea that I want to work on. <laughs> During this entire podcast, I've talked so much. Dilly has like said memes. Night yeah, that's, like, why it's the, that's why it's the worst one. It's not the worst one. The worst one. Yeah, we haven't really gone on about anything that I know about. So yeah, no, nothing. Diddly, really what do you, gets, Diddly, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to <laughs> talk about, Diddly? I don't know. <laughs> exactly, don't know. bro. Exactly. Nothing, why did nothing, you want to be really on, happened. bro? I don't know. <laughs> you wanted to be yeah. on. Get him out of here. Get him out diddly, of here. Diddly, 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 like, I'm, here to, I'm here to be. I'm here to be in the title to, to boost the view count. That's exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You guys don't, yeah. haven't seen the statistics. Yeah, cool. oh. Just keep say, uh, Just keep saying it, and YouTube will pick it up. Diddly ono. Diddly ono. Diddly ono. Diddly ono. Diddly ono. Okay. Well, do you guys have anything else to talk about, or are you guys like? I mean, you maybe let's elaborate on the future of the podcast, really, because we we only like mentioned. We're not sure. <laughs> I mean, that is true, but I, I said we were we were not sure. But I'll still try to continuously um, make it the same time as it was before. But again, if episodes don't come out on time or there is not an episode a week, it just know that it's because we just don't have yeah. the time because we're now getting busy. With I life. could, uh, I could get, I could get me like Big Boom on the next episode. You're you know, that here, I, could, I could do that. Okay, let's, let's talk about me like Big Boom at the end of this episode, so we can when he gets on the next step, we can make fun of him. So we can put him in the so we can put him in the tag. Put him in the tag. Well. I, I don't even put him in the tag. You is, like yeah. Big Boom? <laughs> MLB. <laughs> you like Big Boom? When, a turn. When we were um, I've been asking MLBB to be upon the podcast. Knight has asked him like I don't know like since like the tenth episode. Well, no, not even. Yeah, I just had, I asked him like well, I just asked him once. You gave him money for it though, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I gave him a donation so that way he'd see it on his stream. It literally, uh, yeah. literally, I, bro, um, I could just, I could just message him. You know, Dilly <laughs> asked him, bro. We, we literally, yeah. I literally asked him, like, like, well, Nice asked him. He said, yeah. Uh, he's talked. Well, I guess not talked, but like said, yeah, to when I said anything. But he still has not added me, has not messaged me, has not DM'd me anything. So I don't know if he keeps forgetting. Or like he told you to he told you to DM him. What do you mean? I did DM him, Dude. and he haven't gotten any response. Right. I've DM'd him like several times. I remember when uh, P9 was streaming Blackout, right? And uh, it was right after I think I did I did the suppressor sounds for that, and we me and Ente made the MLBB Fumo mode, and he was checking it out on stream, right? And he was talking to us about it on chat and stuff, and. Uh, I think he told me to, to add him on Discord, and he still hasn't accepted. So, I think MLBB just doesn't check his uh, Discord friend list, you know? I mean, pr people probably send him a friend invite on, like, a daily basis, so you gotta <laughs> understand that. Oh, yeah, they absolutely do. I was seeing... Okay, if... here's the funny part about that. I thought about this, too. <laughs> and I was looking at his Discord when he was streaming. He checks his messages. He literally checks his messages. I literally saw that he was he had, like, two messages from two people. And one of them was Ente. So I'm like, he does check his messages. Uh, and, and I hadn't, he had no messages from me. He had no messages from anyone else besides, like, I think Dinah. And that was early. I don't know. Is he ignoring me? I'm just saying, you know, he, maybe, I'm just saying that he probably is forgetting. He's probably forgetting because he does have, like, four hour streams after the fact. Like, we ask him stuff. So. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he's really, he's really busy with streaming. So that'd probably be. Yeah, yeah he's most probably of just forgetting. That's, that's what I think is happening. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's some OBB news for you. <clears throat> a lot of people still don't know that. I mean, I guess it's for the best, but a lot of people still don't know that he's still active in the community. I mean, yeah, like I, I, I people never think. I still, I still hear like discussions about MLBB and saying how he quit and how he's like completely gone from the internet, stuff like that. But, but then I check his Discord server and he's actively messaging me. He's just silly goose. He's just silly goose. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else we need to talk about. Does anyone else, anyone else, have anything else to say before we end? What happened? Nothing happened. Nothing interesting happened. Nothing interesting has happened. Nothing, has happened. Nothing interesting has happened. There is the Rico update, but we already talked about that. The Rico update. What? Rico the update. The Rico update. Recoil. Oh my God. Is my mic update. like the stuff on the the stuff on the test branch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the test branch. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know that, you can go to your like betas and. Go get to the test branch and unturned. 
Someone asked me when the when the update was releasing, like as if I was a dev. Yeah, diddly. When's the update releasing, Diddleyano? Diddleyano, like... when are you going to fix the game? Oh yeah, someone. I think there was a moderator in the Liam Does Game Discord that wouldn't let me post. Um, that wouldn't let me post a link to a video of me showing uh, the recoil changes because he Why? said that the link was weird and it was just a Twitter link. <laughs> oh, that, that was like he was like it was advertising. It was like lol. No, he I said no. Lol. He's no. He said it was a sus link. Specifically, he said that probably because it was a VX Twitter link, so it was just the better embed system. But he didn't know what it was somehow, despite being a like Discord admin. He didn't know what the system was, which really shocked me. I see. So I didn't get to post that, and then I think. I think he tried to. I think he tried to say that he might get me banned, but I don't remember. He was trying to get you banned. Yeah, I think he said that, but I don't know. Um. That's sus, man. That's sus. Hmm. Uh, I was just told to join uh, Unturn Rumble, and I sent them a nerd emoji. So I hope they understood what I'm trying to say to them. Bro, that's just rude. It's not rude. It's like I got other things to do besides doing your event. So, <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. don't give me that shit. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I think we don't have anything else to talk about. Mm. Really, we I think I discussed everything I wanted to talk about during this episode, and I think, um, yeah. Um, if if P nine is listening, please don't question me about the commission. Trust me, I'm oh, working yeah, if, on it. If P nine is listening, this is not the Leono. This is a imposter. Yeah, this hired. is not. Uh, if P9 is listening, please respond to that one DM I sent. Like, <laughs> please. If, if P9 please. is listening, please, please, please put my oh. calling card back in blackout. <laughs> all right, all right. This is the last thing I want to I want to say. Um, I said I told uh, Stas because I think this is a really funny idea. If anyone doesn't know, since we're like at the end of the episode, like nobody's really care. But we yeah. all know about uh, like the people that are listening. If anyone doesn't know, there's like a thing called the Eunice Lexicon, and it's basically quotes that Eunice has said. Uh, in like messages, yeah, because or in Eunice quotes are just the Eunice okay. lexicon. Yeah, the Eunice lexicon, the right? So, lexicon. so it's like a bunch of dumb. Quotes. We should get that printed. We should get that printed. Let's sell those poster or something. I will print that once I get enough quotes. I mean, we all, I already have like <laughs> three pages of worth quotes here. Well, something like that, yeah. Okay, so basically, I told Stas last night, wouldn't it be a, a funny idea to go hire a person on Fiverr, a rapper on Fiverr? And give them the Eunice lexicon <laughs> and tell them, make a rap song with these quotes. <laughs> Could you? And I, I think I told them, let me find the message. I told Staz, I was the like, Eunice on my official bed. Theme. I was like, on my bed after I told them, like, uh, told them that. And I said to him, this is like a quote. Like, I was like trying to sleep. I'm like, my mind just goes wild when I'm trying to sleep, right? And it goes like, thinks about stuff. That's why I don't sleep. Yeah. I, I, one of the that's fucking simple. quotes I told Staz, because I'm like, oh my God, that sounds so funny. Call me a child the way my piss be leaking because I'm always gleaming. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, Yuna's quotes are just hit different. Okay, they just hit different. <laughs> Where can I read the Yuna's Lux? Slipping my Jimmy so hard I tore a muscle. And I don't even know what the Zaza that I'd be smoking, but I just popped off like full sick of a let me talk, please. <laughs> yep. The Yuna's Lexicon is a, a very funny um document but i think it would be hilarious to get like a fiverr rapper to make a song or like use quotes from eunice as a whole thing i would i would die laughing if they said like (laughs) about the fucking leaking shit the child leaking shit that'd be (laughs) such a good quote (laughs) no we gotta just find some i I probably will do it because i think it is funny and I'll make it like a whole song. I'll send the stats and we'll be like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> well, I think this concludes this episode of the Unturned Podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we just talked yeah. about random shit that was happening. I didn't. Yeah, you, you know you didn't. Mm. You're, you're such a negative mm. man. No, what like if that. I... I'm just going to kill you, you know? I'm just going to kill you right here and now. Yeah, right we'll, just here kill now. You. we'll just kill you eventually. Please. Oh, no. Guys, wait. There's a knock on my door. Guys, wait. No, wait. I'm sorry. I'm this concludes this episode of the Unturned Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe in the comment section below. And uh, we'll see you next time.